हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वील डिस्कस अबाउट द डायफन टाइम इक्वेशन द सिंपल टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन ऑफ द फॉर्म ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई इज इक्वल टू सी वेर एक्स वाई आर नथिंग बट द इंटीजियस ए बी सी आर नथिंग बट द इंटीजियस एंड ए एंड बी बोथ आर नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इज नोन एज लीनियर डायफन टाइम इक्वेशन so a uh, solution of this equation if i say x not and y not are solution of this equation diffantine equation then i can say that a x not plus b y not is equal to c we'll consider one example 3x plus 6y is equal to 18 now here x and y are two unknowns what we are doing is we have to find the integer value of x and y which satisfies the given equation 3x plus 6y is equal to 18 So we can observe here if I substitute x is equal to zero and y is equal to three, we get clearly the value that is three into zero plus six into three that is zero plus eighteen is eighteen. We get it as equal to eighteen. Also, if we substitute x is equal to six, y is equal to zero, also we get the value equal to eighteen. And also the other values are possible. X is equal to two, y is equal to two. Or x is equal to four, y is equal to one, or x is equal to minus two, uh, minus two, y is equal to four, right? So a given equation may have one or more solutions. Now two x plus ten y is equal to fifteen. If we consider, we can observe here it is not having any integer solution. It is a Diffin-Tan equation which is not having any solution. So, what is the condition for solubility? Now, our equation is given. How we will find out whether that equation is having the solution or not? Every time by trial and error method, we can't find it. So, there is a condition for the solubility. That is nothing but if we are having the linear Diffin-Tan equation, a x plus b y is equal to c, then that equation will have the solution if and only if the d, that is d, is nothing but the g c. of a comma b if that gcd d divides c then we can say that the given diffantine equation linear diffantine equation is having the solution okay so one solution we can obtain then how we can obtain the other solution that is if you have one particular solution x not comma y not then we can find the other solutions how by x equations that is x dash is equal to x not plus b by d into t y dash is equal to y not minus a by d into t where t is nothing but the integer so we'll see the proof of this theorem whether it is yes or no true or not right so we'll consider a linear diffantine equation ax plus by is equal to c and we'll consider d as the gcd of a and b now what we'll do is we'll assume that this equation 1 is having the solution x not comma y not that is x not plus y a x not plus b y not is equal to c now what we have to do is we have to show that d divides c because we have assumed that it is having the solution we have to prove that d divides c so since d is the gcd of a comma b we can say that d divides a and d divides b d divides a means using the divisibility condition we can say that a is equal to dr and d divides b means using the divisibility condition we can say that b is equal to ds where r and s are nothing but the integers now we are having c is equal to ax not plus b y not right so there in the place of a substitute dr in the place of b substitute ds so you get dr x not plus ds y not which is equal to d is common keep outside you get r x not plus s y not that is nothing but t where t is an integer and it is equal to r x not plus s y not so we get d divides c so we have proved that if d is a gcd of a comma b then d divides c now conversely what we are doing we are assuming that d divides c we have to prove that d is nothing but the gcd of a comma b so d divides c means using the divisibility condition what we can say c is equal to d into t for some integer t now 
since d is equal to gcd of a comma b sorry now we have to prove that the given equation is having the solution it is already given that d is a gcd of a comma b and d dy c we have to prove that the linear diffeyntine equation ax plus by is having the solution okay since d is nothing but the gcd of a comma b we can write d as ax not plus by not multiplying t on both the sides we get dt is equal to t into ax not plus t into b y not so dt is nothing but equal to c because d divides c and we have consider c is equal to dt right so we can replace dt by c which is equal to a into t x not plus b into t y not so in the place of x we are having t x not in the place of y we are having t y not which satisfies the equation a x plus b y is equal to c so we can say that the equation a x plus b y is equal to c which is a linear diffeyntine equation is having the solution now our task is to prove the second half of the second part of the theorem that is if x not and y not is a particular solution then we have to say that other solutions can be found using the given equation x dash and y dash okay so since x not and y not is a particular solution we will consider a x not plus b y not is equal to c suppose x dash and y dash is any other solution of the given equation then we have a x dash plus b y dash is equal to c so we will consider it as equation 2 and 3 now what we will do we will compare this equation 2 and 3 comparing these two equations we get a x not plus b y not is equal to a x dash plus b y dash taking out a common outside we get x dash minus x naught is equal to b into y naught plus y dash so that is since d is nothing but the gcd of a comma b and d divides a and d divides b so here we get a is nothing but equal to dr why because d divides a and d divides b so we can write d b is equal to ds for some integer r and s we are having from the equation star d a into x dash minus x naught is equal to b into y naught minus y dash so by that we can say that dr is equal dr into x dash minus x naught is equal to ds into y naught minus y dash so uh, Cancelling D on both the sides, we get R divides S into Y naught minus Y dash because GCD of R and S is 1 and R divides Y naught minus Y dash using our Euclidean lemma. So, by that we get Y dash is equal to Y naught minus B by D into T. Similarly, by substituting the, uh, in the equation, we get and rearranging and simplification we get x dash is equal to x naught plus b by d into t you can cross verify and check whether the given solution is uh, correct or not that is in the given equation a x dash plus b y dash substitute the value for x dash substitute the value for y dash on substitution if you get it is equal to c then we can say that the given obtained the equation that is x dash is equal to x naught plus b by d into t and y dash is equal to y naught minus b by d into t is the correct answer. So by that we can say that there are infinitely many solutions for the given equation. So we will study further based on this Diffeyntine equation in our upcoming classes. Thank you.